gatherings. So uh, it's been a busy day, and now I'm here, and uh, we're gonna start right away. I just bred right now, and we are gonna start with the third goes third juz, third part, third chapter of the Quran, and uh, yeah. As usual, the th uh, if you haven't followed what happened the last two days, I read and I explain a little bit what I can explain. Here's the thing. I am not an expert by any uh, stretch of the imagination. I am not an expert at all. all right? I am a very normal uh, Muslim who has been born as a Muslim, who has spoken Arabic since childhood um, and have read the Quran many times since I was a child. So I can appear as uh, a proficient to someone who never been a Muslim or never spoke Arabic or never read the Quran. And I can appear as a better uh, as someone who is able to do it more than someone who maybe did it once or twice throughout his life or never done it, even if he speaks fluent Arabic or if, if he, uh, you know, uh, tried to read the Quran once or twice. Because, yeah, I've studied it to some degree throughout my life. But here's the thing. We, as Muslims, are instructed, taught, and encouraged to be able to do that, what I'm doing right now, even if what I can read is just one verse. If all what I can read is that verse, I am encouraged to understand it and share it. Not force it on someone. No, no, no. Share my knowledge, what I've learned from it. Because this is the thing here. This is what we're here for. This is what we do as humans. So this is what I'm doing. Um, uh, and uh, I'm trying to get better at it, so let's start. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تلك الرسل فضلنا بعضهم على بعض منهم من كلم الله ورفع بعضهم درجات وآتينا عيسى بن مريم البينات وأيدناه بروح القدس ولو شاء الله ما اقتتل الذين من بعدهم من بعد ما جاءتهم البينات ولكن اختلفوا فمنهم من آمن ومنهم من كفر ولو شاء الله ما اقتتل ولكن الله يفعل ما يريد So that first verse here that's the first verse in the third juz or the verse number 253 and the second uh, surah in the Quran, which is Surah Al-Baqarah. So that tr verse here translates into, and I'm going to read the translation here because it might be important to some of my viewers. We have chosen some of those messengers above others. That's, imagine if you, well, imagine throughout humanity, throughout the history of humanity. Not everyone can do everything. So, of course, some will be more equipped to do things more than others. That doesn't diminish from what anyone does. But it's different role, different ability, different capability. So we as Muslims know and understand that there are f throughout the many, 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 and it's a number that no one knows actually, how many messengers have been sent to humanity throughout humanity's history. But you know that there is five who are called the capable five, all right? The ones who have really been tested and, you know, been patient and suffered. And they, in Arabic, it's called Uli al-Azm. So just not, so, so not, I don't make a, you know, a major mistake right now. I'm gonna actually... Okay, so yeah, I just made sure that to search it now, just so I can really uh, be sure of it. But here are the five who are five messengers throughout, throughout history, who we know for a fact that they've been tested really hard. So um, uh, they start with uh, if we start from the you know the eldest 
or the uh, by uh, chronological order there um uh, yeah chronological order is gonna be ibrahim then nuh then musa then isa then muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhim salam ajma'in so once again in uh, english this time ibrahim and it can be translated into ibrahim nuh who is noah uh, he lived for a thousand years the scripture here or i can't say i can't call the quran the scripture the quran is the quran but the some of the facts are shared throughout all knowledge that we've shared throughout the history uh, as humans and here's the thing we as muslims we understand all religions as just one religion and it's the islam so there has been a post that uh, been shared on facebook today in arabic facebook and uh, egyptian facebook and uh, it, it it just you know it, it uh, i'm not gonna say it rubbed me the wrong way but it i wanted to write something about it but i made the decision not to write in arabic for a long time now and uh, to only focus on what i'm doing here thank you so the <laughs> the post has been uh, a little girl asking uh, in a TV show, asking uh, uh, an old sheikh, an old Muslim sheikh, asking her, asking him, uh, why, why only the Muslims are gonna end up in heaven? Why not anyone else? And his answer was, no, 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 the heaven can be open for anyone who actually believes in God, and that's a political answer. That's not what's written in the Quran and what I'm gonna say right now is not something that you know only uh, if you uh, understand it my way you have to uh, or you, you, you're a bad person no 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 let me read the ayah here or, or the verse of the, from the Quran and we're gonna uh, encounter this verse while we're uh, reading the Quran and it's uh, in Arabic وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ so in English, it translates to, and those who seek any religion other than Islam, it's not gonna be accepted from them. Now, this is the literal translation here, what I just said. And I think it's very important to understand it because the word yabtari in Arabic or the word seek in English, they both mean that we haven't reached there yet. Again, the ayah is not and those who are not Muslims are not gonna be accepted. No, no, no. The translation is, and those who do not seek Islam, or those who seek any religion other than Islam, it's not gonna be accepted from them. And this is a major difference here, because I still consider myself a seeker. I can't, by any stretch of the imagination or any mean or anything, just stand there and say, hey, I am the most devout Muslim ever I've reached. The moment uh, we, as Muslims, we are taught, the moment we just stand grandiose and think, yeah, we've made it, now we're Muslims, no, 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 we've lost. Throughout, as I said yesterday and the day before, we are taught, we are instructed that throughout this life, we are trying to learn, we are trying to understand. This is the first word of the Quran, Aqra, read. So, the political answer is just trying to, you know, not to uh, <laughs> uh, plant more animosity and, you know, to showcase that the Islam is a religion that uh, is trying not to make anyone angry and all of that. I understand that. But here is the thing. Sometimes you need to share the real knowledge, the true knowledge, because if you don't, you're going to end up creating more people who are lost. And this is the thing that I, again, this is my whole message maybe, since the day yesterday, since yesterday and the day before, Islam for me is first of all about adjusting your compass. So if you don't know what you're looking for, how will you adjust your compass? You might spend your whole life searching in the wrong direction. So again, the verse is, and for those who seek any other religion other than Islam, it's about seeking. So I don't mind if you're still not a Muslim or if you're still not believing in anything, if you're agnostic, if you're an atheist. It's about what is it that you seek. And by seeking here, I don't mean that you have to come to a sheikh and try to, you know, it's not uh, literal seeking. No, 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 it's mental seeking. It's emotional seeking. It's psychological seeking. In life, as I said yesterday, you can seek money, you can seek wealth. And anyone who got it will tell you, nah, it's not zero, the answer is not fair. So seek fame, 
The answer is not there. We talked yesterday to at length about seeking power, and the answer is not there. So, what is it that is Islam? And that's what I'm doing here, right now. You, you don't know what you don't know. For you to seek something, you first know, need to know about its existence. And this is what we are try search for that truth. Yes, exactly. That's as of now saying as uh, yeah, yeah, it's showing on the screen, all right. Exactly. So this is it. For you to know what you should seek, you need to open your mind to, all right, I'm going to learn. I'm going to be curious. And that's what we're doing right now. So uh, as I said, uh, the five messengers who are uh, all al-azm or who have been tested, who are capable, the, you know, the top five messengers, if you that, because this is here, that's a part of the verse where it says, we have chosen some of those messengers above others. All right. For us, we understand that this refers to those five. In, in general, uh, sorry, in particular and in general, there are maybe others as well. For now, we all know that we don't know for a fact how many messengers have been sent to humanity throughout the years. So Allah spoke directly to some and raised some high in rank to Jesus, son of Mary. And here is the thing. This is why I'm you know, um, uh, focusing a little bit on that verse here, because I know that some of my audience who, if you are speaking English uh, um, or you, if you can understand what I'm saying right now, in some sort, you might have been raised as a Christian or you are in a Christian society. It's important that if you don't know that, that you know. We believe in Jesus Christ. And here is the thing. For us, he is called Isa, Isa alayhi salam, and we honor him and we believe in him. And anyone who actually spent some time researching that, they understand that as Muslims, we believe in Jesus that, with the true message that he's been sent with. But here is the thing. What happened after... Anyone who uh, spent some time studying theology will understand that the Bible, the current Bible, that is right now, that hasn't been written by Jesus or hasn't been led to, you know, sent to Jesus. No, no, no. It has, it has been written by his disciples. Anyone who's, and this is the thing. Many of the devout Christians, once they found out about, you know, they, they find out about how political the fight was back then, and that what's written in the Bible and the Old Testament and the New Testament, it's all just, uh, 90 percent, uh, not 90. Let's say about 80 percent of it. It's just politics and humans' point of views. This is why the Old Testament is extremely different from the New Testament, and all of that difference in opinions and all of that, you know, uh, fight among themselves that drives so many of those Christians aside of religion totally. And that's what's written here. Allah spoke directly to some and raised some, in ha some high in rank to Jesus, son of Mary. We gave clear proofs and supported him with the Holy Spirit. If Allah had willed, succeeding generations wouldn't have fought among themselves after receiving the clear proofs. But they differed. Some believed while others disbelieved. Yet, if Allah had willed, they wouldn't have fought one another. But Allah, doesn't, uh, but Allah does what he wills. This is very important. Uh, all is saying if uh, any Muslim doesn't believe in Jesus, then he doesn't believe in Muhammad be, sub be upon him. Exactly. Exactly. So that's, <laughs> here, that's the key word here. For us, I, as I said yesterday and the day before, it's layers. You can't just, you know, you can't start engineering by studying the internal combustion engine if you've never understood anything in physics or math or chemistry. So again, you need to actually be believing in Jesus and understand his message and his story very well. We, any Muslim, understand and learns and knows the story of Jesus by heart. But we don't differ. As you know, so many of the uh, current uh, <laughs> Christian... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not, I'm, I'm not trying you know, to throw shade there. Um, but it's just... This is about, again, making whoever watching this know what they don't know. So you got to know this, guys. So we continue now. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu anfiqu mimma razaqnakum min qabli an yatiya yawmun la bay'un fihi wa la khullatun wa la shafa'a wal kafirun hum al-zalimun. 
الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم Excuse me. So, uh, if you've been watching for the past three months, you already know that after every prayer, you hear me saying some words in Arabic. Those are the words that I say in Arabic. This is the ayahs that I read after every prayer. And this is uh, very important for Muslims and very important for me personally. But I'm not gonna explain it right now. This is, you can imagine that this here is a very advanced, advanced course. You know, it's something that for you to reach the level to understand, really understand what that verse is talking about, you need to, uh, yeah, pass some levels first. So, uh, but you don't have to really understand it for you to repeat it and, be, and benefit from what's in it. And this is the thing, guys. We are taught and instructed to read the Quran even if we don't understand it. Even if we don't understand uh, just maybe 1% in it. 1% no, is too much, by the way. <laughs> if you understand the verse, as I said, you are instructed to read the Quran. And here is the thing. Here is why. As humans, we, the current world that we live in right now, we are too limited. Let me, let me try to give a metaphor for, for that. We learn right now by only, by only, truly understanding and getting and you know totally grasping whatever it is that we experience throughout throughout our eyes and our ears but here is the thing sometimes and many times and this is a quote from Sherlock Holmes by the way you look but you don't see you know the thing that is in front of you but because you don't understand its value you will never yo Benguano how are you bro because the thing is in front, that is in front of your eyes, a very uh, prominent example from video games here. Watch the very first video where I played Team Fight Tactics. Watch the very last video where I played Team Fight Tactics. In the very first video, if I had seen a spatula on the carousel, I wouldn't have gone for it. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it means. Yet, I am watching it. Yet, I am seeing each and everyone who is playing that game going for it. But I don't know its value, so I don't go for it. Now, if I was just playing, you know, I needed to win that game, would I, in the very limited time that I had to back from the carousel, ask you if you were, you know, telling me what to do, so I have to win, or I might lose the game and lose something very important there. Now imagine if I, in those few seconds, stopped and argued. Nah, please explain to me what the special is doing first before I picked up. Imagine, imagine the frustration you'd feel. This is what I'm talking about here. What I should do as a TFT player, I go for the spatula first, pick it up, and gain more time, then... Oh, so if I get the spatula, I can do one and two and three and four. In life, it's very similar to that. Imagine if a little kid who's six or seven started arguing, nah, I want to be a TikTok dancer, a professional TikTok dancer when I grow up. Why would I study math? I've done the same. When I was 12, 13 years old, I actually argued my professor back then, telling him, why do I need more math? I am very good at and the math, uh, this math right now. I think I'm very smart. I'm very intelligent. This is it. I've made it. I can't go to engineering right now. He actually gave me a book three years in advance. And it humbled me. And we learn the Quran and we read the Quran, even if we don't understand everything in it. But we know that we can learn while having it in our minds, while we've read it before, while we have it in our hearts, or we can learn without it. But if we learn without it, we will get lost. Again, you can go try and explore the whole globe without a compass. But will it be much harder if you just pick that compass with you and spend five, ten minutes picking that compass and, you know, understand it? All right, so this is north, this is west, this is south, this is east. This is what we are taught by reading the Quran, even if we don't understand it. 
Sometimes you gotta first do the thing, then argue after doing the thing. But uh, the counter of that is born from ego, from arguments. And this is the one of the seven major deadly sins or one of the seven major uh, bad traits in the human nature. The seven deadly sins, which are hunger, which are greed, which are lust and all of that. Ego and arrogance is one of them. And they are called seven, seven deadly sins, seven major sins, seven diseases, because those are the seven keys. If you can understand those seven keys in your psyche, in your nature as a human, you can actually survive life a little bit easier than just, you know, giving in to every one of them until you understand, yeah, I shouldn't go into that door. So, now we continue. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى لم في صعم لها والله سميع عليم I swear I forgot you know I memorize a lot of the Quran by heart but I really forgot that this was the next ayah the next verse and this exactly ties in what I was saying because how important, how, how this, this here, the value in this verse, it's tremendous. Even I, with what I know, I can't fathom how great it is right now. I'm trying, but here's the next verse. Because of what I just said, you need to make use, because we have so many limit, so, so limited time on this earth. So the next verse is, let there be no compulsion in religion. No one is forcing you to anything. For the truth stands out clearly from falsehood. If you just stand and look, you'll see it. So whoever renounces false gods and believes in Allah has certainly grasped the firmest unfailing handhold and Allah is all hearing, all knowing. This is the thing here. Here is the solution. Here is the, you know, the <laughs> cheat code. It's not, it's not, it can't be called cheat code. Here is the truth. Here it is, and you can take it or you don't take it, it's up to you. You know, those two verses here. No one is forcing you to anything, but if God hasn't sent us that, if we weren't told that, we would have gone extinct like that. We've gone extinct multiple times because we don't believe. Actually, that happens over and over and over and over and over. So, yeah. So, we continue. Bismillah <laughs> الله ولي الذين آمنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات إلى النور والذين كفروا أولياءهم الطاغوت يخرجونهم من النور إلى الظلمات أولئك أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون ألم تر إلى الذي حاج إبراهيم في ربه أن آتاه الله الملك إذ قال إبراهيم ربي الذي يحيي ويميت قال أنا أحيي وأميت قال إبراهيم فإن الله يأتي بالشمس من المشرق فأت بها من المغرب فبهت الذي كفر والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين صدق الله العظيم Sorry again I got a, I got a, I got to explain here so there is a story in the uh, there is a part in the story of Ibrahim or Abraham if that's how you wanna pronounce it. Um, he the story of Ibrahim is, uh, himself and we're gonna go through it and we're gonna uh, encounter it in length while we're reading the Quran throughout the next thirty days, and it's amazing. It's one of the uh, the core stories in my belief in my own belief, but in that part here, Ibrahim encounters the king of uh, Egypt actually back then and uh, his name was Al Namrud and uh, he was a very you know a big dictator imagine you know a big dictator king who can do whatever and he controls everything mostly Egypt has been ruled by guys like that so this bro Al Namrud he knew about the existence of Ibrahim and that Ibrahim is uh, inviting people to worship God and only God. So he tried to argue against them. So he sent for him and he told them, all right, so you're saying that your God controls life and death. And Ibrahim said, yeah, Allah controls life and death. Allah can give life to anything and can, it's Allah, all powerful. 
so uh, and uh, and death we all die and this is by god's will so he tells him yeah i can do that also so he brings two people and he uh, show ibrahim the two people and he tells them all right you see that bro that bro number a i'm gonna let him live you see that bro number b he didn't do anything but i'm killing him right now and he killed him he thought yeah i control life and this also so that was his sight so at this <laughs> the reason that i love this story if you open any podcast today on youtube any uh, you know uh, any beers morgan episode for example you would see people argue for both points all the time. No matter what logic says, no matter what science is. Bro, you can find guys who argue that the earth is flat. And they believe in that. They believe that the earth is flat. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> as dumb as it is, they believe in that. You will, If you come up and say, alright, we should drink water, you will find guys who argue that, nah, you shouldn't drink water at all. As humans, one of our major sins as well is, and this is uh, repeated in the Quran multiple times, insana jadula, or a human is by nature argue, uh, uh, arguing all the time. We love to do that. It's, it's not we love, we are born with that nature. And it's, it can be used for awesome things or it can be used to destroy ourselves. So that brought Al-Namrud, he understands what Ibrahim said when Ibrahim said that God controls life and death. Now, just know that Al Namrud he wasn't an idiot. This is not a silly story. This is not a children a, 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 a children's story there. So you, and this is a mistake that we always do when we imagine history. We imagine a very dumb, uh, uh, you know, a, a dull, and uh, the characters in it are dumb and silly and just coming out coming from Disney movies. No, 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 no. He was a king. He controlled an empire. He controlled people underneath him. So he must have been really smart, really capable, really uh, able to understand. Yet he argued. So what did Ibrahim say to him? Ibrahim told him, all right. So God brings the sun from the east and the sun goes down in the west. Try to reverse it. And uh, I hear is saying that he couldn't reply. He was uh, dumbstruck. And this is the thing. He wasn't dumbstruck because he never thought about it. No, 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 no. He thought about it. I know for a fact that Al Namrud or people like that, they, most of the time, they know the truth. Or no, you can't argue against a point if you don't know that point very well. But. Most of the time, it's our ego and it's our arrogance that Nah, I still wanna argue, but I don't know how to I still wanna uh, prove myself right, even if I know for a fact that I am wrong So, that was his answer there And the reason that I... Every time I read that verse here, I stop and think about it Because in life Multiple times, we see the sun coming from the east every day and going west. Yet, most of the time, still, we think that we have the power to control our lives. Right? The Al Namrud thought that he had the power to control everything. He controlled life and death. He thought that he believed that. And yet, when he was shown that he was in no control whatsoever, he was done struck. We wake up every day. Seeing the sun coming from the east, going to the west. Yet, we still think that we're in control. That's, uh, that's why I, every time I read it, I stop and remember that, uh, yeah, we ha I haven't uh, got there yet. To that level where Ibrahim was, where he totally understood, yeah, I am in no control whatsoever. And that by itself doesn't mean that I just live, you know, uh, without doing anything. No, no, no. Absolute power comes from that. If I totally understand what, how capable I am, I need to understand what I am in control of and what I am not in control of, exactly like driving a car. If I drive a car thinking that I am in control of what everyone else on the road is doing, I am going to make accidents all day every day. But if I understood what I can control, and only what I can control, and understood what I can't control, then I am going to be preparing better, then I'm gonna be a better driver. 
in life it's the same. There are things we can control in life. Our choices. We can control our choices. But we can't control life around us. So let's continue. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. أَوَكَالَّذِي مَرَّ عَلَى قَرْيَةٍ وَهِيَ خَاوِيَةٌ عَلَى عُرُوشِهَا قَالَ أَنَّا يُحْيِي هَذِهِ اللَّهُ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا فَأَمَاتَهُ اللَّهُ مِئَةَ عَامٍ ثُمَّ بَعْثَهُ قَالَ كَمْ لَبِثْتَ قَالَ لَبِثْتُ يَوْمًا أَوْ بَعْضَ يَوْمٍ قَالَ بَلْ لَبِثْتَ مِئَةَ عَامٍ فَانْظُرْ إِلَى طَعَامِكَ وَشَرَابِكَ لَمْ يَتَسَنَّهْ وَانْظُرْ إِلَى حِمَارِكَ وَلِنَجْعَلَكَ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَانْظُرْ إِلَى الْعِظَامِ كَيْفَ نُنْشِزُهَا ثُمَّ نَكْسُوهَا لَحْمًا فَلَمَّا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ قَالَ أَعْلَمُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ No, I'm not gonna try and, you know, because it's, 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 again, it's driving the truth, you know, it's trying to showcase the truth as hard as possible. But here's the thing, guys. The Quran is filled with wondrous and marvelous verses. Every verse in the Quran is marvelous. We don't need just, we only need just to open our hearts and anyone, anyone is capable of changing our hearts. So this 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 story here now I'm not gonna explain because it's gonna take much longer and yeah I need to uh, to continue reading. <laughs> I might explain it later though. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ أَرِنِي كَيْفَ تُحْيِي الْمَوْتَى قَالَ أَوَلَمْ تُؤْمِنْ قَالَ بَلَى وَلَكِنْ لِيَطْمَئِنَّ قَلْبِي قَالَ فَخُذْ أَرْبَعَةً مِّنَ الطَّيْرِ فَصُرْهُنَّ إِلَيْكَ ثُمَّ اجْعَلْ عَلَى كُلِّ جَبَلٍ مِّنْهُنَّ جُزْءًا جُزْءًا ثُمَّ ادْعُهُنَّ يَأْتِيَنَكَ سَعْيًا وَاعْلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضاعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله ثم لا يتبعون ما أنفقوا منا ولا أذن لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون قول معروف ومغفرة خير من صدقة يتبعها أذى والله غني حليم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تبطلوا صدقاتكم بالمن والأذاك الذي ينفق ما له رئاء الناس ولا يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر فمثله كمثل صفوان عليه تراب فأصابه وابل فتركه صلدا لا يقدرون على شيء مما كسبوا والله لا يهدي القوم الكافرين ومثل, ومثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم ابتغاء مرضات الله وتثبيتا من أنفسهم كمثل جنة بربوة أصابها وابل فآتت أكلها, فآتت أكلها ضعفين فإن لم يصبها وابل فطل والله بما تعملون بصير أيود أحدكم أن تكون له جنة من نخيل وأعناب تجري من تحتها الأنهار له فيها من كل الثمرات وأصابه الكبر وله ذرية ضعفاء فأصابها إعصار فيه نار فاحترقت كذلك يبين الله لكم الآيات لعلكم تتفكرون يا أيها الذين آمنوا أنفقوا من طيبات ما كسبتم ومما أخرجنا لكم من الأرض ولا تيمموا الخبيث منه تنفقون ولستم بآخذيه إلا أن تغمضوا فيه واعلموا أن الله غني حميد الشيطان يعدكم الفقر يأمركم بالفحشاء والله يعدكم غفرة منه وفضلا والله واسع عليم يؤتي الحكمة من يشاء ومن يؤتى الحكمة فقد أوتي خيرا كثيرا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب وما أنفقتم من نفقة أو نذرتم من نذر فإن الله يعلمه وما للظالمين من أنصار إن تبدوا الصدقات, ف... إن تبدوا الصدقات فنعم هي وإن تخفوها وتؤتوها الفقراء فهو خير لكم ويكفر عنكم من سيئاتكم والله بما تعملون خبير ليس عليك هداهم ولكن الله يهدي من يشاء وما تنفقوا من خير فلأنفسكم وما تنفقون إلا بتغاء وجه الله وما تنفقوا من خير وفأ إليكم وأنتم لا تظلمون 
للفقراء الذين أحصروا في سبيل الله لا يستطيعون ضربا في الأرض يحسبهم الجاهل أغنياء من التعفف تعرفهم بسيماهم لا يسألون الناس إلحافا وما تنفقوا من خير فإن الله به عليم الذين ينفقون أموالهم بالليل والنهار سرا وعلانية فلهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين يأكلون الربا لا يقومون إلا كما يقوم الذي يتخبطه الشيطان من المس ذلك بأنهم قالوا إنما البيع مثل الربا وأحل الله البيع وحرم الربا فمن جاءه موعظة من ربه فانتهى فله ما سلف وأمره إلى الله ومن عاد فأولا أولئك أصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون يمحق الله الربا ويربي الصدقات والله لا يحب كل كفار أثيم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وأقاموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون So those past verses that I've just read it had a lot about spending and money management and interest and the economy and finance and all of that and again this is a thing as i said yesterday and the day before and i'm gonna keep repeating that every day it was it, it all builds up on itself okay we start life not as little children little kids you know infant babies no one uh, you will come to you as a year old infant and tells you yo you need to understand finance and economics no 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 no. first you need to survive you need to gain strength and that's what we've been doing for the past couple of days understanding societal structure understanding how to adjust our comes how to measure things in life how to understand the truth of this life and yeah after a while we'll start all right okay we believe now okay we are 100 people on that island now we believe now we understand that there is one god we understand the true nature of this you know uh, stage that we're living in right now and that the eternal real life is the one after that and we're all gonna die so all right what's next while we're existing on this earth on this plane here you need to live actually no one is telling you to be a monk islam doesn't have monkhood guys this is one of the things that i personally struggle with throughout my life as i said multiple times before life in itself didn't make any sense for me every time i try to you know look at this life and try to understand it doesn't make any sense by itself if you think of it as part of the whole image the whole meaning of islam then it makes sense now life in itself didn't make any sense for me and back then i didn't understand what i'm uh, what i'm and what i've understood now about islam and religion and all of that so one of the very first things i ever thought about in my life is to be a monk is to give up on this life i can control my hunger i don't yeah i am an addict and this is why i know how dangerous uh given in was so i thought yeah all right so i don't want to i want to go live on a mountain somewhere and i actually thought about that liquidating all my assets given everything uh, given up everything and becoming somewhat like a monk and then i started watching the signs around me trying to understand more about life why why are we in a world because i i wanted to escape from all the suffering and all of the meaninglessness of this life that we're in right now because i felt trapped the current world that we are living in right now is designed to keep you on a hamster wheel all right here is the thing i've known about cryptocurrency and bitcoin since bitcoin was uh, 12 dollars the very first videos on this channel that you're watching that on youtube on right now the very first videos i ever made on youtube that was 2014 when bitcoin was around what 12 dollars and i was explaining everything about cryptocurrency and blockchain and bitcoins and why i fell in love with the concept of a free economy yet it's same now uh 10 years later it has been controlled it has been centralized to a very big degree and he, that is the thing about life you can't just design one way to escape from this life and think that yeah i'll be able to survive by myself 
even if I gone and lived on that mountain somewhere, I would have had to buy the land from some country right now. And what are countries? What are countries? It's just man-made. Everything in life right now is man-made. And I'm not talking about conspiracy theories right now, but that feeling that you're feeling right now, that you are trapped, you can't travel as you could 200 years ago or 300 years ago. No, no, you can't just go out. Sometimes, even if you're in your city, you can't leave your city unless you have to say it to someone where you're going, what are you doing, and all of that. And all of that, all of that current life, uh, ways to control and really, you know, keep you in place, that's on your physical form only, on your physical body. No one is... Many are trying to also control your mind by showing you what you see every day, all day. And this is an educational system and all of that. And a huge part of that is the economical and the financial system. If you, every day, the very basic instinct for humans, as with every other living being, is to survive. If you feel that you have to do something every day, all day working nine to five just to survive you will never understand the freedom that comes from having two hundred thousand dollars in your bank account if that's all you need for a lifetime or something uh, the questions that i used to ask my uh, employees my friends anyone who i meet i usually when i try to interview someone for a job that they're gonna work with me so i used to give them that question all right i'm gonna put 10 million dollar in your bank account right now what is it that you're gonna do in your life? And most of them get surprised with that question. But let me ask it here. Right now, I'm gonna put 10 million dollars in your bank account. Okay, you're gonna be, uh, imagine if you met uh, Mr. Beast, for example, and he's gonna give you those 10 million dollars. Now what? What is it that you're gonna do with your 24 hours? When I had zero dollars in my bank account, I used to think of the same question and I had some answers the answers actually were the same as when I'm right now and right now I'm considerably wealthy so yeah and the reason that I asked that question is because you're never gonna see the real truth of this world unless you can actually think of that think of you know going out of the you know leaving that hamster wheel because we only have 24 hours, we only have limited amount of energy daily. And if you spent a considerable amount of that time and that energy just trying to survive, you know, there was in philosophy the uh, mess of uh, Sisyphus. You know, that bro that keeps pushing the rock every day, all day, just to get it to the top of the mountain. And once it, got, it gets to the top of the mountain, the, rocks, the rock falls down again and he needs to repeat that every day. The bro doesn't have any time or energy to do anything else in his life. And that's slavehood. That's slaves. If you, the, the way that you make slaves easy right now is by giving them a job 9 to 5 that nets them monthly just barely enough to survive. You're not gonna have any time to learn, to understand investment, to do anything about your life to make you free. And why do we want more slaves? Because uh, in life, as humans, when we actually realize that we can't control ourselves, we try to control others. And this is basic psychology. This is psychology 101. So imagine if you've been wealthy men and you've chased wealth and power throughout your life. And then once you got there, you suddenly realized, yeah, I'm still grown old. Yeah, I'm still getting diseases. Yeah, I'm still in no control of anything whatsoever. Then you have a choice to actually look for the truth and some too. Or the devil will show up in your psyche and in your emotions. We, and as Muslims, we understand that the, devils, that the devil runs throughout our body as the blood. Just so you know how close the devil he is to you. And he tells you, all right. So you can't control yourself, but you can control others. This will give you what you're looking for, controlling others. So you employ and you rationalize that, you rationalize that to yourself, that by doing that, I'm not saying that employment is, is wrong. No, 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 no. The way that you employ others is 
if you're employing someone and you're actually trying to get them to make more wealth and more power for you and you enjoy seeing them trapped in the little worlds that you created for them yo that's the story of creation we are trying to seek control but here is the thing even that doesn't give control or give power to whoever's going for it so how do i do that as someone who refused to get the canvas to adjust my canvas to go to learn the truth but now i have a big conglomerate and i employ thousands and i want to keep them under my control how do i do that by utilizing the current financial system fake currencies and the interest and the whole banking system that we are currently living under and anyone anyone who spent some time studying economy and i did to a degree understands how skewed it is how yeah the rich will always get richer and uh, you can never escape it if you never want to escape it or if you don't know how to escape it you will never escape it but if you actually start learning this is why some this is why religion is very dangerous if you actually this is i'm not talking about conspiracy theory no 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 i'm really talking about because if you understand how to if you can control your even the basic abilities that you have to consume and refuse to buy that extra bag of chips at the supermarket now you're uh, dangerous to the uh, chips going uh, to the you know, uh, the bag of chips conglomerate you're dangerous if you can control your urge to consume that next bottle of, coca of cola for example now you're dangerous because you're not giving them money so those few, few verses that i've just read they explain a lot about that this is what i've said guys this is why the quran is really important it builds on each other on, on itself so let's continue أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وأقاموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة لهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وذروا ما بقي من الربا إن كنتم مؤمنين فإن لم تفعلوا فأذنوا بحرب من الله ورسوله وإن تبتم فلكم رؤوس أموالكم لا, تظل لا تظلمون ولا تظلمون وإن كان ذو عسرة فنظرة إلى ميسرة وإن وأن تصدقوا خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا تداينتم بدين إلى أجل مسمى فاكتبوه وليكتب بينكم كاتب بالعدل ولا يأب كاتب أن يكتب كما علمه الله فليكتب واليم للذي عليه الحق وليتق الله ربه ولا يبخس منه شيئا فإن كان الذي عليه الحق سفيها أو ضعيفا أو لا يستطيع أن يمله فليم للوليه بالعدل واستشهدوا شهيدين من رجالكم فإن إن لم يكونا رجلين فرجل وامرأتان ممن ترضون من الشهداء أن تضل إحداهما فتذكر إحداهما الأخرى ولا يأب الشهداء إذا ما دعوا ولا تسأموا أن تكتبوه صغيرا أو كبيرا إلى أجله ذلكم أقسط عند الله وأقوم للشهادة وأدنى ألا ترتابوا إلا أن تكون تجارة حاضرة تديرونها بينكم فليس عليكم جناح ألا تكتبوها واشهدوا واشهدوا اذا تبايعتم ولا يضار كاتب ولا شهيد وان تفعلوا فانه فسوق بكم واتقوا الله ويعلمكم الله والله بكل شيء عليم صدق الله العظيم this is here this is uh, called the debt ayah or the debt verse the ayah to dain and this is the longest verse in the quran and this is uh, the constitution for anything to do with debt or borrowing money or anything like that and i just need you to you know take notice of that if you're reading the quran for the first time you have to think why if, if no no if you're under, learning about islam for the first time and you don't know anything just know that this 
is the level and it, uh, Islam and Quran it goes deeper than that also it, it it addresses everything in this life so why because in this life we exist we coexist and coexisting by nature requires us to you know not always pay our uh, debt in time I'm not talking here about borrowing just money no 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 borrowing anything at all now this is what Islam does. Islam is like the blood in your veins. It fills every space in the society and in the human nature and in the psyche. And if you come at any point for your body, for example, and inject up, you know, an air bubble, you're gonna die. It, it, this is a way to assassinate someone, you know. It's the same with society and nature and our life. This here is how that if you're given someone money, you need to write it down and why you should write it down and how you will write it down and if someone is uh, borrowing money, what they should do and all of that. Because if you try to make some kind of a graph for the uh, problems of current society, most of them are gonna... Uh, be out of uh, the financial uh, landscape because of that and here's the solution we have a part of the solution a big part of the solution but we don't do that why let's continue وَإِن كُنتُم على سفر ولم تجدوا كاتبا فرهان مقبوضة فإن أمن بعضكم بعضا فليؤدي الذي أتوا من أمانته وليتق الله ربه ولا تكتموا الشهادة ومن يكتمها فإنه آثم قلبه والله بما تعملون عليم لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت عليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام م الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان إن الذين كفروا بآيات الله لهم عذاب شديد والله عزيز ذو انتقام إن الله لا يخفى عليه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء هو الذي يصوركم في الأرحام كيف يشاء لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم هو الذي أنزل عليك الكتاب منه آيات محكمات هن أم الكتاب وأخر متشابهات فأما الذين في قلوبهم زيغ فيتبعون ما تشابه منه ابتغاء الفتنة أو ابتغاء الفتنة وابتغاء تأويله وما يعلم تأويله إلا الله والراسخون في العلم يقولون آمنا به كل من عند ربنا وما يذكر إلا أولو الألباب ربنا لا, تز... ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه إن الله لا يخلف الميعاد إن الذين كفروا لن تغني عنهم أموالهم ولا أولادهم من الله شيئا وأولئك هم وقود النار كدأب آل فرعون والذين من قبلهم كذبوا بآياتنا فأخذهم الله بذنوبهم والله شديد العقاب قل للذين كفروا ستغلبون وتحشرون إلى جهنم وبئس المهاد 
قد كان لكم آية في فئتين التقطا فئة تقاتل في سبيل الله وأخرى كافرة يرونهم مثليهم رأي العين والله يؤيد بنصره من يشاء إن في ذلك العبرة لأولي الأبصار زين, الذي زين للناس حب الشهوات من النساء والبنين والقناطير المقنطرة من, الد من الذهب والفضة والخيل المسومة, والخيل المسومة والأنعام والحرف ذلك متاع الحياة الدنيا والله عنده حسن المآب قل أنبئكم بخير من ذلكم للذين اتقوا عند ربهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها وأزواج مطهرة ورضوان من الله والله بصير بالعباد الذين يقولون ربنا إننا آمنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار الصابرين والصادقين والقانتين والمنفقين والمستغفرين بالأسحار شهد الله أنه لا إله إلا هو والملائكة وأولو العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام وما اختلف الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءهم العلم بغيا بينهم ومن يكفر بآيات الله فإن الله سريع الحساب فإن حاجوك فقل أسلمت وجهي لله ومن اتبعا وقل للذين أوتوا الكتاب والأميين أسلمتم فإن أسلموا فقد اهتدوا وإن تولوا فإنما عليك البلاغ والله بصير بالعباد إن الذين يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون النبيين بغير حق ويقتلون الذين يأمرون بالقسط من الناس فبشرهم بعذاب أليم أولئك الذين حبطت أعمالهم في الدنيا والآخرة وما لهم من ناصرين ألم تر إلى الذين أوتوا نصيبا من الكتاب يدعون إلى كتاب الله ليحكم بينهم ثم يتولى فريق منهم وهم معرضون ذلك بأنهم قالوا لن تمسنا النار إلا أياما معدودات وغرهم في دينهم ما كانوا يفترون فكيف إذا جمعناهم ليوم لا ريب فيه ووفيت كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون قل اللهم مالك قل اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تؤتي الملك من تشاء وتنزع الملك ممن تشاء وتعز من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير تولج الليل في النهار وتولج النهار في الليل وتخرج الحي من الميت وتخرج الميت من الحي وترزق من تشاء بغير حساب لا يتخذ المؤمنون الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتقوا منهم تقاه ويحذركم الله نفسه لا يتخذ المؤمنين الكافرين أولياء من دون المؤمنين ومن يفعل ذلك فليس من الله في شيء إلا أن تتقوا منهم تقاتا ويحذركم الله نفسه وإلى الله المصير قل إن تخفوا ما في صدوركم أو تبدوه يعلمه الله ويعلم ما في السماوات وما في الأرض والله على كل شيء قدير يوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير محضرا وما عملت من سوء تود لو أن بينها وبينه أمدا بعيدا ويحذركم الله نفسه والله رؤوف بالعباد قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم قل أطيعوا الله والرسول فإن تولوا فإن الله لا يحب الكافرين إن الله اصطفى آدم ونوحا وآل إبراهيم وآل عمران على العالمين ذرية بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم وإذ قالت امرأة عمران رب إني نذرت لك ما في بطني محررا فتقبل مني إنك أنت السميع العليم فلما وضعتها قالت رب إني وضعتها أنثى والله أعلم بما وضعت وليس الذكر كالأنثى وإني سميتها مريم وإني أعيذها بك وذريتها من الشيطان الرجيم فتقبلها ربها بقبول حسن وأنبتها نباتا حسنا وكفلها زكاريا 
كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها رزقا قال يا مريم أن لك هذا قالت هو من عند الله إن الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب هنالك دعا زكريا ربه قال رب هب لي من لدنك ذرية طيبة إنك سميع عدن هنالك دعا زكريا ربه قال رب هب لي من لدنك ذرية طيبة إنك سميع الدعاء فنادته الملائكة وهو قائم يصلي في المحراب أن الله يبشرك بيحيى مصدقا بكلمة بكلمة من الله وسيدا وحصورا ونبيا من الصالحين قال رب أن يكون لي غلام وقد بلغني الكبر وامرأتي عاقر قال كذلك الله يفعل ما يشاء قال رب اجعل لي آية قال آيتك ألا تكلم الناس ثلاثة أيام إلا رمزا واذكر ربك كثيرا وسبح بالعشي والإبكار وإذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله اصطفاك وطهرك واصطفاك على نساء العالمين يا مريم اقنطي لربك واسجدي واركعي مع الراكعين ذلك من أنباء الغيب نوحيه إليك وما كنت لديهم إذ يلقون أقلامهم أيهم يكفل, مر أيهم يكفل مريم وما كنت لديهم إذ يلقون أقلامهم أيهم يكفل مريم وما كنت لديهم وما كنت لديهم إذ يختصمون إذ قالت الملائكة يا مريم إن الله يبشرك إن الله يبشرك بكلمة منه اسمه المسيح عيسى بن مريم وجيها في الدنيا والآخرة ومن المقربين ويكلم الناس في المهد وكهلا ومن الصالحين قالت رب أن يكون لي ولد ولم يمسسني بشر قال كذلك الله يخلق ما يشاء إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون ويعلمه الكتاب والحكمة والتوراة والإنجيل ورسولا إلى بني إسرائيل أني قد جئتكم بآية من ربكم أني أخلق لكم من الطين كهيئة الطير فأنفخ فيه فيكون طيرا بإذن الله وأبرئ صدق الله عليه العظيم that that here that's the number of the verse those are Arabic numbers uh, so that's the 48. We're reading until the uh, 92nd, uh, yeah, the 92 verse. So those here are uh, the numbers in Arabic. ورسولا إلى بني إسرائيل أني قد جئتكم بآية من ربكم أني أخلق لكم من الطين كهيئة الطير فأنفخ فيه فيكون طيرا بإذن الله وأبرئ الأكمه والأبرص وأحيا الموتى بإذن الله وأنبئكم بما تأكلون وما تدخرون في بيوتكم إن في ذلك لآية لكم إن كنتم مؤمنين ومصدقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ولأحل لكم بعض الذي حرم عليكم وجئتكم بآية من ربكم فاتقوا الله وأطيعون إن الله ربي وربكم فاعبدوه هذا صراط مستقيم فلما أحس عيسى منهم الكفر قال من أنصاري إلى الله قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله آمنا بالله واشهد بأننا مسلمون ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين by the way, what I'm reading right now, sorry, I haven't explained that. I gun, uh, read, uh, I continued reading because I actually enjoy reading Quran. Um, what I'm reading is the third surah in the Quran. It's called Ali Imran. And who are Ali Imran? Those are Jesus' family. So the story of Jesus Christ, the story of Isa, uh, Ali Imran, are the. So he is a parent. He is called Zakaria. So the, the the big father, the grandfather, he is called Zakaria, and uh, he is um, he is related. Uh, sorry, I don't want to go into lens. He's related. So when Mary's mother, when Maryam, so if we're, if she, if we're gonna if we're gonna call it Mary, it's Maryam, uh, the Arab the Arabic name. When Maryam. Uh, mother, when Mariam's mother wanted to, uh, when she got pregnant and she was about to give birth, so she was a believer in God and she wanted to 
bring out a boy so he can be a good server uh, you know a, a strong capable uh, believer in god and when she knew that she is uh, pregnant with a girl so she told god god i you know that i wanted to uh, give my baby to you to be a believer in you to serve for your cause and you know that what i'm pregnant with right now is a girl and you know what I'm pregnant with more than me. So please accept her and uh, do with her what you might. Um, so that girl was Mariam or Mary. And she grew up to be just wonderful human being who got, uh, who lived with Zachariah uh, in his, you know, in his house and uh, in the community that they were in. Uh, they made a competition for who can actually take care of Mariam and uh, who won that competition every time they made that competition it was something like with Benz whoever got the shorter end of the Benz he wins or something like that so Zachariah every time they conduct that competition he won and he got to take care of Mariam so Mariam would spend all day every day worshiping God and the thing about worship guys I want to talk about how we worship God but maybe later in this month so he Zachary would come and see Mariam and you he will find her content satisfied she's not like those around her something special about her because she's content she's satisfied just worshiping and he asks her how are you content and satisfied not being like anyone else and she told him I understand it's from God she was special so she Again, as we all know, got pregnant without being with any man, and that boy was Jesus and uh, Isa, alayhi salam. And Isa, uh, and when, when she got pregnant, of course, in a tight community as the one that they were in, it all the you know it was, they all looked at her as if she for sure must have done something wrong because how or how else would she get pregnant and the quran tells the story of maryam throughout the whole quran many times and there is a whole surah named maryam in the quran i memorize that surah by heart i i uh, it's one of the most beautiful surahs or chapters in the quran and i memorize it all by heart and we're gonna see it on day number 16 because it's uh, in the 16th chapter of the quran so on day 16 Inshallah, you will see me uh, reading that surah maybe just by while looking in the camera because I memorized by heart. I memorized many parts of the Quran by heart. And so the story goes and details how Maryam actually uh, stood and uh, confronted those who uh, tried to tell her that she did something wrong. And she was, no, I didn't, didn't do something wrong. Again, no matter how many times you were going to claim that, I know what I've done. And God actually talked to Mariam and God uh, told her how to take care of herself and how to give birth to Jesus. And then Jesus was that, uh, this is what I'm reading here by, uh, by the way, this is it right now. Uh, Jesus came out to be that just amazing marvel. He could talk to everyone while he was still an infant. So he can tell them, and that's what he told them, that no, my mother, we're going to read that on the 16th day, no, my mother is innocent, she didn't do anything uh, of whatever you guys are claiming. And uh, this was the uh, marvel and, uh, you know, the miracle that everyone uh, just, okay, uh, how qu can you argue against such a miracle? And uh, it, uh, what I'm reading, it goes into lens about what Jesus actually, uh, the miracles that he could perform and all of that. And then the story of how those who believed in him, then they differed, as we've said, and there were fights among them and all of that. And I'm going to go into lens in that story, maybe while reading more, but... Uh, if you were wanna, because it's translated, so anyone who's gonna listen to that in the future or gonna watch it in the future, you can just own uh, his Quran.com. Uh, this is you can see it, guys, and read in details and ask me if you want to ask me, ask me if you want to ask someone else, anyone you find. Uh, there, there are so many resources to explain that in lens from guys who are better than me. But again, as I said, it's not just my part to uh, you know point to those guys and say guys if you want to learn go to that no 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 no. 
I'm sharing my own experience. This is what I do every Ramadan, and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's like, you know, it's like being reminded about the truth about everything. That's okay. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, life is painful, guys. If you don't really know what's what, life is painful. But when you read, and when I read, uh, I feel at ease. So let's continue. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله فلما أحس عيسى منهم الكفر قال من أنصاري إلى الله قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله آمنا بالله واشهد بأننا مسلمون ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين ومكروا ومكر الله والله خير الماكرين إذا قال الله يا عيسى إني متوفيك ورافعك إلي ومطهرك من الذين كفروا وجاعل الذين اتبعوك فوق الذين كفروا إلى يوم القيامة ثم إلي مرجعكم فأحكم بينكم فيما كنتم فيه تختلفون فأما الذين كفروا فأعذبهم عذابا شديدا في الدنيا والآخرة وما لهم من ناصرين وأما الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فيوفيهم أجورهم والله لا يحب الظالمين ذلك نتلوه عليك من الآيات والذكر الحكيم إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون الحق من ربك فلا تكن من الممترين فمن حاجك فيه من بعد ما جاءك من العلم فقل تعالوا ندعو أبناءنا وأبناءكم ونساءنا ونساءكم وأنفسنا وأنفسكم وأنفسنا وأنفسكم ثم نبتهل فنجعل لعنة الله على الكاذبين إن هذا لهو القصص الحق وما من إله إلا الله وإن الله لهو العزيز الحكيم فإن تولوا فإن الله عليم بالمفسدين قل يا أهل الكتاب تعالوا إلى كلمة سواء بيننا وبينكم ألا نعبد إلا الله ولا نشرك به شيئا ولا يتخذ بعضنا بعضا أربابا من دون الله فإن تولوا فقولوا واشهدوا بأننا مسلمون يا أهل الكتاب لم تحاجون في إبراهيم وما أنزلت التوراة والإنجيل إلا من بعده أفلا تعقلون ها أنتم هؤلاء حاجتم فيما لكم به علم فلم تحاجون فيما ليس لكم به علم والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما وما كان من المشركين إن أولى الناس بإبراهيم للذين اتبعوه هذا النبي والذين آمنوا والله ولي المؤمنين ود الطائفة من أهل الكتاب لو يضلونكم وما يضلون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون يا أهل الكتاب لم تكفرون بآيات الله وأنتم تشهدون يا أهل الكتاب لم تلبسون الحق بالباطل وتكتمون الحق وأنتم تعلمون وقال الطائفة من أهل الكتاب آمنوا بالذي أنزل على الذين آمنوا وجه النهار وكفروا آخره لعلهم يرجعون ولا تؤمنوا إلا لمن تبع دينكم قل إن الهدى هدى الله أن يؤتى أحد مثل ما أوتيتم أو يحاجوكم عند, عند ربكم قل إن الفضل بيد الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله واسع عليم يختص برحمته من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم ومن أهل الكتاب من إن تأمنه بقنطار يؤده إليك ومنهم من إن تأمنه بدينار لا يؤده إليك إلا ما دمت عليه قائما ذلك بأنهم قالوا ليس علينا في الأمين سبيل ويقولون على الله الكذب وهم يعلمون بلى من أوفى بعهده واتقى فإن الله يحب المتقين إن الذين يشترون بعهد الله وأيمانهم ثمنا قليلا أولئك لا خلاق لهم في الآخرة ولا يكلمهم الله ولا ينظر إليهم ولا ينظر إليهم يوم القيامة ولا يزكيهم ولهم عذاب أليم 
وإن منهم لفريقا يلون ألسنتهم بالكتاب لتحسبوه من الكتاب وما هو من الكتاب ويقولون ويقولون هو من عند الله وما هو من عند الله ويقولون على الله الكذب وهم يعلمون ما كان لبشر أن يؤتيه الله الكتاب والحكم والنبوة ثم يقول الناس كونوا عبادا لي من دون الله ولكن كونوا ولكن كونوا ربانيين بما كنتم بما كنتم تعلمون الكتاب وبما كنتم تدرسون ولا يأمركم أن تتخذوا الملائكة والنبيين أربابا أيأمركم بالكفر بعد إذ أنتم مسلمون وإذ أخذ الله ميثاق النبيين لما آتيتكم من كتاب وحكمة ثم جاءكم رسول مصدق لما معكم لتؤمنوا النبي ولا تنصرونه قال أقررتم وأخذتم على ذلكم إصري قالوا أقررنا قال فاشهدوا وأنا معكم من الشاهدين فمن تولى بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الفاسقون أفغير دين الله يبغون وله أسلم من في السماوات والأرض طوعا وكرها وإليه يرجعون قل آمنا بالله وما أنزل علينا وما أنزل على إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق ويعقوب والأصباط وما أوتي موسى وعيسى والنبيون من ربهم لا نفرق بين أحد منهم ونحن له مسلمون ومن يبتغي غير الإسلام دينا فلن يقبل منه وهو في الآخرة من الخاسرين كيف يهدي الله قوما كفروا بعد إيمانهم وشهدوا أن الرسول حق وجاءهم البينات والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين أولئك جزاؤهم أن عليهم لعنة الله والملائكة والناس أجمعين خالدين فيها لا يخفف عنهم العذاب ولا هم ينظرون إلا الذين تابوا من بعد ذلك وأصلحوا فإن الله غفور رحيم إن الذين كفروا بعد إيمانهم ثم ازدادوا كفرا لن تقبل توبتهم وأولئك هم ضالون إن الذين كفروا وماتوا أهم كفار فلن يقبل من أحدهم ملء الأرض ذهبا ولو افتدى به أولئك لهم عذاب أليم وما لهم من ناصرين لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون وما تنفقوا من شيء فإن الله به عليم So that's the end of the third juz in the Quran or the third part I think, well, we're, I'm seeing a pattern here. It's an hour and 17 minutes, and yesterday the part where I've read Quran also gone to an hour 18 minutes. So I think, I think there is a pattern. I hope so. If I can keep it, you know, under always 120, I'm gonna be happy because then it's gonna be structured in my mind. So here is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take a little break because, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna also get to eat something or something and pee back later and when I'm back we're gonna keep climbing TFT and Valorant yes I wanna play Valorant I actually do wanna play Valorant let's hope so see you then